his head back up to the gate, and here's... He kind of looks like Maduin, but he's not. It's youth. What's wrong, Maduin? He kind of looks old. What are you talking about, youth? Alright, let's chase her into uh, the gate out of here. There she is. If you don't want to return to your world, you may stay here. But humans and espers can never coexist. How do we know for sure unless we observe for ourselves? And then he floats in a semicircle. How do we know? I haven't been doing, like, like the, the, the epic-ish voice. I should. Unless we... Observe for ourselves. That's not a great pickup line, really, Maduin. You could have done better. You should say something like, I would change that for you. We've given her a name. What? What's like? <laughs> Madonna has no choice in the name here? <laughs> it's Coco. Not bad, huh? Apparently, Maduin named her. Now he's joined our party. Two years later. Humans, the nexus between our worlds has opened again. The wind, so odd, just like two years ago. But something's different now. Troops have come seeking our magical power. Damn, one soldier is really kicking all these espers ass. Blast it, they've made it as far as the elder's house. No, fight them off. Star. We finally found it! These ancient writings told us of this world and described the awesome magical properties of these beasts. Grab them! Riches to any man who captures an Esper! Go! What of little Coco? Oh, I'm in control. Yeah, I'm not used to being in control of an Esper! <laughs> Coco's all right. Yeah, of course she is. I will go out and fight them, for I am Maduin. With no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean, the magic barrier? Not the magic barrier! Here's the plan. We'll cause a tempest that'll sweep all the, of the nasty creatures out of our realm. Then we'll seal the gate. I'm the last of our kind able to cast this magical seal. You could try to teach it to somebody else. No? But in your state, you might just pass away. But at least we will finally be safe. Madonna, this is all your fault! I, for one, will not miss the other side. It's only two years later. Wait, how old's Madeline? And how old's Madonna? Seriously. Let's do it. We have no other choice. And I'm in control again. Soon the human. Thank you, wolf. Are there any wolf espers? God, I know there's like 26. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, though. Yes, she's still all right. Thank you for the update, Madonna. All right, let's talk to the fairy and get out of here. This is all because of that human girl? Nonsense. I'm sure she helped the others find us. How dare you? Uh, get a grip on yourself. No, she's one of them. Soon she'll be wearing our hide. You're the only one here with a hide, wolf. And then she runs out. No. She took her to the gate. No. Go, go. No. I don't think there's... I think everybody has the same things to say this time. Everyone here is feeling uneasy. You should. <laughs> you say the same thing. So, so much for everybody saying the same thing. Wait, we're on the right side now? How do we get on the right side? Were we always on? I don't think we were. I think we're on the left side first. Ah, uh, well, he was when he was single, but then he left his bachelor pad and got married on the right side, apparently. That's how dating works, apparently. Here in Esper World. Now the little Spyro is making more sense. Thank you, baby Bahamut. I don't think it's actually Bahamut. Bahamut's not a red dragon. Neither Spyro for that instance, but whatever. I, I can't think of a red dragon off the top of my head. Maybe Chrono Cross had one, but I can't. I think it's just Fire Dragon. Where are you going? To go! 
<laughs> Madonna's getting drawn into the next world. Impossible. It's too late. I've already begun casting the barrier. There's no turning back. That fool! No! Madonna! Leave your perky bra. What? Look what popped out. I did. Yeah. Just when we were in reach of a veritable bonanza. Get the fuck out, Gustav. So if Madeline pushed them all out, how'd Madeline get captured in, like later on? Keep going. There she is. Madeline, I'm not their friend. I understand that. Thank you. Can you make it back here? Sure. Go, go! No! Madonna! No! A human girl? Who is she? Please, take care of my baby. Your girl! Mm. Mm. Then she's half human. Half. How absolutely fascinating. <laughs> she will help us realize our dream faster than we ever imagined. And he just tucks it in his cape. N no! Quiet, my dear. Smack her! Smack her! Oh, he did! Oh, the back of the head and down she went! Holy crap! We will own this world! <laughs> and curtains close. I think that's actually the rock that actually closed the, the close to the Esper world. Damn, that was a. I was expecting a slap! I wasn't expecting a smack like the back of the head. He just cold cocked her, man. Yep, it's a DNA match. That that was my father? I'm the product of an Esper and a human. That's where I got my powers. Now I understand. I, can finally, I finally feel I can begin to control this power of mine. So Gestal must have known the secret of the Esper's power back then. And those Esper's at the facility were grabbed during that expedition. That means Lamia's power came at the expense of an Esper. They can't get away with this. We have to strike back. What's happening in Narsh? Who cares about Narsh? Hmm. Maybe we should head back that way. Of course we should. Because Narsh is important because that's where we started. The airship's ready. Very nice, Stefan. Lead us on. Come on. And now we're all on board the airship, which still doesn't have an... Can I just name it? It's called the Blackjack. I don't, I don't think that's a spoiler for anything. By all means, take a turn at the wheel. Operating instructions. Left, right, up, down. Press the A button to move forward. Press the X button to go amidships to go inside the ship. There you can change your party or purchase items. Press the B button to land. Press the A button to lift off. All right, gotcha. Uh, sure, teach me a technique. Press the start button to view the world map. Hold the Y button down and use the control pad to move in all directions. Use the L and R button with the control pad for high speed turns. High speed turns. Yeah, I don't think it's a spoiler. It's called the Blackjack. I'm not sure if they actually ever say that, but that's technically the name of the ship. So, uh, we did not get a full heal after that. Stefan didn't get hit, though. We do have him as a party member, though. And that is the first time, so let's take a look at him. Uh, he's already level 17. He's a little bit behind. He seems to have scars all over his face. I'd point at the scars, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, he's got decent battle power. Uh, better than Luke, and Luke doesn't have the same thing. Uh, he's got pretty good defense, considering he's not really equipped with our best stuff. His evade is pointless. And his magic defense is decent. It's uh, kind of on the low side. Magic block is terrible. Uh, vigor, decent. Uh, not really, uh, not really that high for a physical attacker, but you know, not not excessively low. His speed is pretty good, not great, but good. Uh, stamina is pretty weak, actually. Uh, magic power is decent, not fantastic. Of course, he's not equipped with any espers, uh, therefore he has no magic. 
because uh, that's really the only way we can get it to him. What does he have on? He has a bandana, a mithril vest, a mithril shield, and he uses cards. Just flat out uses cards. He, he's the gambler. No, gambit. Yes, gambit the gambler. There we go. I've been watching. Uh, uh, sorry, not watching. I've been reading too many old comic books where there's actually a guy named the gambler. He's gambit. None of you guys will probably know the gambler. He's gambit. Yes, he uses cards. Uh, funny fact, though, if you unequip the bandana uh, during the battle that we were in, you can never get that bandana back. I, I don't know why. The, the joke is that uh, Stefan will never be caught wearing the same things that Luke wears, but I don't know how much truth there is in that. Does he have any relics? He does not have any relics. So, uh, we do need to change our party. I need to get everybody else caught up with where we are. Uh, I believe there is a shop down here. I don't think they have anything new for us. How you, how you guys doing? Yes, uh, he does become stronger on the belt. Thank you for telling me that. I probably will have Coco in my party eventually. Do you have anything cool to say? Yes, yes they do. Uh, but I will, I will take care of that later. I... I don't think there is still any purpose to going down here. Is this a door? That is not a door. Yeah, unfortunately there's like nothing here. Guest room, once again. Behind the engine room. For whatever. Oh, that's right, it's down here. It makes no sense to me when I be there. I want to play blackjack! Come on, we got enough people to put the whole table together. Why can't I play? Like, is there a reason why I can't play blackjack on, on this ship? I don't think there ever is. Uh, don't do anything just yet. Um, of course, that that's a real easy way, real convenient thing. Can I play roulette? Damn it. Uh, Stefan's not hanging out. Maybe that's the Baccarat table. I don't know. I don't know. So, I think we have already gone over the tour of the airship, but, you know, once again, if there is a way to gamble on this thing, I never figured it out, I don't think. What do you... Oh, that's just a full heal. Full heal. I will take it, and now we can purchase uh, the same things that we had. But uh, you know, real purpose of this guy is more to sell than to buy things. Uh, but in case you are short, he does have it. In case, just in case. Never did pick up a smoke bomb. As you can see, though, Bash is still in our party, even though he's not on board just yet. So I will take this opportunity to switch my party around, and I will be right back. 